Hello, my name is Aliyah Shaban, and today I will be introducing different parts of the brain and what they do. First, I will start with the limbic system. The limbic system is a complex system of nerves and networks in the brain involving several areas near the edge of the cortex concerned with instinct and mood. It controls the basic emotions and drives. The limbic system is a group of four brain structures that has the hypothalamus, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. These are involved in motivation, emotion, learning, and memory. The limbic system is where the subcortical structures meet the cerebral cortex. Next, I will be talking about the hippocampus, which unfortunately is not a learning institution full of hippos, but instead it is the elongated ridges on the floor of each lateral ventricle of the brain thought to be the center of emotion, memory, and the autonomic nervous system. The hippocampus is a small organ located within the brain's medial temporal lobe and forms an important part of the limbic system, the region that regulates emotions. The hippocampus is associated mainly with memory, in particular, long-term memory, the organ that also plays an important role in spatial navigation. Next, we have the thalamus. The thalamus is a forebrain structure that processes sensory information for all senses except smell and relays it to the cerebral cortex. The thalamus is a small structure within the brain located just above the brainstem between the cerebral cortex and the midbrain and has extensive nerve connections to both. The main function of the thalamus is to relay motor and sensory signals to the cerebral cortex. We also have the hypothalamus. Hypo means beneath or below. And yes, the hypothalamus is below the thalamus. The thalamus is a peanut-sized forebrain structure that is part of the limbic system and regulates behaviors related to survival, such as eating, drinking, and sexual activity. A region of the forebrain below the thalamus that coordinates both the autonomic nervous system and the activity of the pituitary, controlling body temperature, thirst, hunger, and other homeostatic systems involved in sleep and emotions. One of the most important functions of the hypothalamus is to link the nervous system to the endocrine system via the pituitary gland. Last, we have the amygdala. The amygdala is an almond-shaped cluster of neurons in the brain's temporal lobe involved in memory and emotional responses, especially fear. Its name comes from the Greek word for almond. You actually have two amygdalae. Each amygdalae is located close to the hippocampus in the front portion of the temporal lobe, responsible for emotions, survival instincts, and memory. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of the limbic system, its parts, and its functions. Thank you for watching.